Okay, now we're gonna head over to Ascent Aero Systems. So you're gonna pretty instantly recognize their drones. It's a really unique shape. Let's check them out. The coax design started with a pair of brothers working out in Arizona that were doing a lot of rock climbing, a lot of trail hiking, and they wanted something small that could be put in a backpack and that was also rugged that they could use to scout trails. So we can walk over here and actually look at the Spirit because the NX itself is not modular. The Spirit was designed to be broken down into multiple pieces and packed up into a small container. The whole thing breaks down from the GPS to the radio module to batteries, which you can run in a single or double battery configuration. And then finally, the core and payload. And then it all reassembles very quickly and very easily. And that's it. Yeah, so really easy to use. Very easy. I think at first glance, a lot of people are a little bit intimidated by them because of how strange they look. But when you actually put one in the air, they fly no different than any other drone. We use a modified version of Q Ground Control called Ascent Q. So a lot of our customers are already familiar with the software and your basic controls are no different. What, uh, what makes this design better than traditional multi -lips? There's a few things. So a coax design is very efficient in flight. When you think about the form factor, when you're looking at a quadcopter as it pitches forward in flight, you have more wind resistance against the body of the drone. Whereas when a coaxial pitches forward, your form factor actually gets smaller, so less wind resistance. Also being a tube, they're easier to seal up against the elements. Being IP56 rated um, is, a, is a great benefit for a lot of our customers. What about the future? Anything that customers should know about that's coming up? Yeah, so the little guy here is Helios. This will be a Q4 release for 2025. This is a 249 gram nano drone, hand launched, hand retrieved, flies on LTE, has a 12 megapixel low light sensor, forward obstacle avoidance, and navigation lighting. Who would you say these drones are for? So historically, our biggest customer base has been defense integrators and public safety customers, but we've been working hard to provide something for all industries, including our industrial customers. We've had a few really interesting integrations recently. We have the Grimsey VO that was recently integrated. We have the Pilot Pro as a new blue G GCS offering, and then the MicaSense Red Edge from Ag Eagle um, for the agricultural industry. Well, thanks so much for your time. Yes, sir.